Welcome to A Co-Creator's Guide to the Whole World, Part 1. This is the first of a series of three short videos that introduces an empowering and revolutionary new vision of the cosmos. I'm Dr. Jude Curravan. And my worldwide work brings together leading-edge science, frontier research into consciousness, and ancient and emerging spiritual wisdom to empower others and to raise consciousness. I aim to help people wake up. We can't understand the nature of the ocean just by looking at the waves on its surface. And we can't understand the nature of the cosmos just by studying the physical universe. Yet mainstream science currently tries to persuade us that we can fully understand the nature of reality solely by understanding the material world. If such science were able to comprehensively describe the universe, then it might have reason to be authoritative. But not only are the current theories that describe the minute world of the quantum and the large-scale world of relativistic space-time fundamentally incompatible, but over the last few years, discoveries by astronomers have identified that the universe appears to be comprised of only 4% of the matter and energy we're aware of and can measure and an enormous 96% of so-called dark matter and dark energy, the nature of which is as yet completely unknown. Science that tries to convince us that it can explain the ocean of reality can't even explain the froth on top of the waves on its surface. At the leading edge of science, though, and at the frontier of research into consciousness, a revolutionary and comprehensive vision of the cosmos and the nature of reality is emerging. A groundbreaking experiment in 2007 by an Austrian team of physicists led by Anton Aspelmeyer and Marcus Zeilinger proved that what we call real doesn't actually exist until we observe it. In other words, there is no reality without consciousness. A series of experiments have also demonstrated so-called non-locality, what Einstein called spooky action at a distance. In 2005, complex organic molecules were able to be non-locally connected beyond the hitherto accepted limits of space and time. Their size hugely greater than the quantum scale where such effects were previously considered to be limited to has demonstrated that there is no theoretical scale limit to such entangled states. But there is now extensive scientific evidence that our minds too are connected on a non-local basis. So-called meta-analyses of a huge number of experiments into such psi effects as telepathy and remote viewing led the American Institutes for Research as long ago as the mid-1990s to conclude that the evidence for these was amply proven and that future research should instead focus on understanding these phenomena and their use. Discoveries across many fields of scientific study are also recognizing that the universe and everything in it, including ourselves, are manifested through holographic processes that harmonically and fundamentally interconnect all that we call physical reality. If we are to understand the cosmos at a deeper level than hitherto, it's becoming clear that we need to understand the nature of the cosmic hologram and to consider information as being more fundamental than space, time, matter and energy. For it's from the primordial field of information, of consciousness itself, from which all that we call reality is manifested. The ancient Vedic sages of India call this primordial field of information Akasha, meaning all-pervasive, all-encompassing space. The Akashic, or A-field, is the holographic information field from which arises all that is, has ever been, and will be. Crucially, this revolutionary vision of the cosmos means that we're not only the creation of cosmic mind, but the co-creators of our realities. In the second of these three videos, I'll explain more about the emerging vision of integral reality 
and what this inclusive perception of the whole world means for every one of us.